All right, hello and welcome back. We're gonna do some, we're gonna investigate some client side predictions. So I've been working on trying to figure this out for a couple of weeks now and uh, finally made some headway, finally figured out something to make this whole operation work. So what you need to do for starters, you're going to need to turn off this here network transform. And if your network transform on your player model or whatever object you're wanting to do prediction on, if it's um, by default it's send to owner, you're going to want to uncheck that so that they don't fight each other. Next, you're going to need to, um, where is it? Did I take it off? I did take it off. All right, anyways, there is a prediction model. In, so if you go into Fishnet, so you go to Fishnet, go into the demos, go into prediction version one. I'm not trusting version two because it's it's not it's experimental. I don't need experimental. I need tried and true. We're gonna go to rigid body, and in their scripts here, they have a rigid body prediction script. Um, I wonder if that's over here. Yeah, let me just close this out. That's causing problems for me. Rigid body prediction. Where to go? Oh, this is still running from the last session. All right. They have a rigid body prediction. So, um, the, this predicted spawning area is just for their, um, what's it called? It's only for like the bullets if you want to do the bullets. So I basically copied and pasted the script and I modified it. So we have the modified versions over here. And all I really changed is, um, well, what I'm going to be changing. I'm going to be changing quite a few things, actually. So this is your types. So anything, they're making a move data. And then all this shit is just to like send it over the server, right? And this is the constructor for when you want to make a, a move data and send it over the server. This is going to happen on, if you look at the regular, why did I close it out? So this is the one that it comes with. He has a YouTube video where the method name, and I could put a link to that. So it's first gear game server authoritative, torf. server author authoritative, that's a tongue twister, authoritative movement using uh, Unity's fish networking. Anyways, gather inputs. That's what it is in this one. but. Um, in the YouTube tutorial from one year ago, but he's obviously updated things. This is the most important part right here. Time manager on tech, which um, he's subscribed to in the awake method and I'm subscribed from these methods when he's done with it. So basically when you on tick, this is fixed update. This is after the physics have been calculated. So you need some things to happen when fixed update happens, right? So your new fixed update using the time manager. So if your network manager does not have a time manager, add a time manager and switch from your physics mode unity to time manager, right? So we want to try to get this dang script. We're going to modify this, go into the world of mods. He has an update method that he's using to control his players here. We don't really need any of this it's not really useful so in the modified version I kind of changed that but um, any data that you want to send over so if your player jumps any inputs that you need to gather um, he put it in gather inputs so what gather inputs does this is what gather inputs does it creates move data and here you're going to gather your inputs and this is happening you're gathering your inputs in the fixed update so fixed update is now on tick right so we're making a new move data that our player can use and so I know there's an on tick in here somewhere but in here time manager dot on tick so this is when every fixed update happens, the time manager slash a tick happens, 
we're going to reconcile some data and we're going to build a new move data. This build new move data is gather inputs. It's the exact same method. So if you're using the newer version of fish networking, you'll have to find build move data. And I just renamed this to gather inputs. But you can do whatever you want to do. I, I do not care. So it's the exact same method. We're going to build a, a move data every single frame of the fixed update using um, the inputs. And you're going to check to see um, if you have zeros, then don't bother sending anything to the server, right? So if your move data didn't change, then the server is not going to register anything new. Anyways, that's what he's saying. So we're going to build a new move data and we're going to basically export that to the calling function, which is uh, on tick. Time manager on tick, right here. So once we gather our inputs, because that makes sense, move the player. So what is what is move? What is moving doing? Uh, move. See these red ticks down here. It's right under our gather inputs. I moved it back over here because it made sense to be over here. So we're gonna bring in our inputs, and he makes a vector three using the inputs. So the inputs that were gathered float horizontal and vertical. We're gonna use those, and um, to move our player, we add our force here, multiply by our um, our move rate. So move rate is a serialized variable, and I will show you the controls. So I didn't make this code, I'm just using it, modding it, and making it work. I'm forcing it to work. Um, from the previous video in the player controller, there's going to be some things that you need to disable. So we have this, add your rigid body prediction modified. So that one is being held in my scripts. I just copy and pasted it and moved it down here. All right, so in here, our move rate is now our move force. You can change the name of it. In our player controller, our player weighs 10 mass, or uh, I think it's 10 kilograms. I don't know what their mass unit is. But um, the move speed, this is the force which would, I was multiplying my character before. So now our character, we no longer gathering inputs in the player controller. So in our update method, we no longer need an input listener. Our input listener was gathering their inputs for all the key codes. All of this logic needs to be offloaded into the rigid body prediction, or the ones that need to be sent over there. So we're going to start with movement. Offload all of this logic. This doesn't exist anymore. Find your fixed update that you were using to move your player, if you were using that. We don't need this anymore either. That's a carrot. All right, in my move player, this is a pretty complex script, but um, I'm going to have to send all of this logic and uh, move it over to the rigid body prediction. But I want as much information to be calculated on the client side as possible. But things involving movement, since it's server authoritative, needs to be controlled by the server. So we are no longer gathering inputs here. We're not going to worry about. Um, I will make a video, maybe make a video where I just move all of this logic over and so that the server can now handle all of the logic. So all of that needs to come over here and to build move data. We'll gather our inputs and all of that and uh, restructure his code so that it's now using the controls that I've implemented in my code already. So player. We've copy and pasted our move speed over because I need 100 move speed so he moves regularly. And um, we no longer need this. In the move, I you can see I multiply our move speed times 1.25. So we're going to need that. So forces. times the move rate. So 
force this times 1.25 force mode dot impulse because that's what um wait it should be force mode force because this is a continuous one so this is i don't need a capital f so this is fundamentally the same as our non-sprinting move speed so now that we're no longer gathering inputs using the um using the client authoritative system, we are now on the server authoritative movement. So the server authoritative movement, we we can still control our camera. However, a player does not turn. We're going to need to implement the rotation, which is a script <coughs> um, on the camera. Our third person camera is finding the player and kind of like rotating the players forward so that the the player's forward is facing the camera but since this is a modification occurring to um, on the client side in the update of the client's camera it needs to be occurring over the server I have to figure out a way to get that to work but as you can see we are using the client prediction method of moving so now this is going to become much more important so it needs to be up here above the player controller because we're going to be moving all of the player controller stuff to now be used with this rigid body prediction method so now we can control our movement using this using this new um, client side prediction model so now our, we're fucking we can run 30 miles an hour but um, our positions don't rotate not until I fix it until I find a way to fix it so the whole point of client prediction is to prevent people from cheating and we're gonna see I'm gonna show you how you can see if the client prediction is actually working so we're gonna host and we're gonna join as the cheating client alright we're joining as the cheating client and our host is over here monitoring our client which I cannot really see all right we can move around a little bit right there is a skyscraper oh my god please there's a skyscraper over here right so let's say our client deletes the skyscraper right let's just uh, go under a level over here where is it? Level. I'm just going to turn this skyscraper off. We don't need that skyscraper there, right? So we are a cheating client. We're going to pass through, attempt to pass through this, this skyscraper. Ha ha! Check that out. I, I am pressing forward. However, our client's cheating. They're trying to do wall hacks by disabling their... Um, what you might call it. So I'm trying to go through, as you can see, the client prediction method is working. Um, the one of the clients has hacked their game, deleted their building, yet the colliders are still in place. Everything is still here. So since they're not collider or a client authoritative, it's it is working. It is objectively working. So um, we'll have to just adjust things and make it so that our original code where they're jumping around with jetpacks and grapple hooking so we have to make all of that server authoritative um, if you found this video helpful please leave a like comment subscribe and uh, if you want more videos like this i will obviously continue my video game development journey so please subscribe if you would like to follow that um, have more updates and whatnot thanks for watching